Hey everyone, today I want to continue this uh, series, the characteristics of a great Christian leader. A um, few, few weeks back, uh, a picture in the National Geographic channel uh, became, a, uh, uh, became very popular in social media. Uh, it's this picture uh, which you can see uh, in the screen. Um, it's um, a crow picking a fight with an eagle. Um, someone photographed this um, and, 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 and I validated this uh, in, in the website uh, to see if it's a, a real story, if it's a real uh, 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 authentic picture because there are so many uh, false pictures and false stories floating around. So I validated this, uh, I took this one from National Geographic Channel. Uh, if you look at the pic picture, the crow will pick uh, at an eagle, uh, 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 this eagle as, it, as the eagle begins to soar. It'll sit on its back and, and it'll start biting the eagle's neck. Uh, this, the, many people, who, the scholars who, who, who studied this picture, they were very unclear why uh, the crow would take such an uh, uh, inevitable fight uh, with, a, with, with, with a creature that is thrice its size and stature. Uh, some say it's a protective stance uh, and others a sign of the crow's a Napoleon complex coming to the fore uh, that is thinking uh, they are much bigger and tougher than they actually are. However, um, what happened in, in, in this uh, while they were taking this picture was the eagle does not respond or fight with the crow. Uh, in fact, the, the, the eagle will ignore uh, the crow um, and, and it didn't waste any time um, or energy fighting the crow. Uh, what it, 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 it does, it, it merely opens its wings and, and begins to rise higher in the sky. The higher the eagle flies, the harder it is for the crow to breathe because of lack of oxygen. The crow eventually falls um, uh, and, and, and the, the mighty eagle continues its reign into the distant sky. Isn't that a beautiful story? Um, isn't that a, a beautiful example of how great leaders need to be. So um, I, I wanted to talk about knowing your uh, altitude and authority uh, in, in this uh, podcast today. Um, because eagles fly at a high, one of the characteristics of the eagles are they fly at a higher altitude than any other bird. Uh, they know their altitude. Um, and someone said your altitude determines your attitude. The eagles fly at a greater altitude and they don't mingle with the crows. And that's why Paul said in the scripture, set your mind on things above, not on earthly things. Many times we waste our, our, our time worrying about petty things, smaller things that distract us. Every, every day, if you, are, if, if you want to be a good leader, uh, you need to learn to ignore the petty things that comes to distract you. You need to learn to uh, not m f pick a fight with a crow. The moment you get distracted and you pick a fight with a crow, it distracts you and it, it discourages you. It takes you off track. That's why uh, having that eagle vision is very important as a, as a, uh, a leader. We need to have that eagle vision. Eagle, uh, uh, eagles are very good at having a, a vision, um, uh, even at a higher altitude. When they fix their eyes on the prey, they are so focused. So learn, we need to learn to fly at a higher altitude. And we need to learn to set our minds on things above. God has called you to do something greater in life. Nehemiah uh, was, was discouraged and he was tempted to get up uh, to pick a fight with Sanballat and Tobiah and they asked him to come and come for a meeting. Nehemiah's response was amazing. Nehemiah said, I'm, I'm involved in a great project. I cannot go down. We need to remember the, the, the mission that you are doing as a leader. Maybe whatever that mission is, maybe it's leading your family or it's uh, leading uh, your church or leading your ministry, or leading a small group, whatever mission that you are doing, if God has given that, 
project. It is very, very important. It is a great project, as Nehemiah said. I'm involved in a great project. I, I cannot go down. You need to tell that every day. Don't pick a battle with people like Sanballat and Tobiah, whose aim is to, to, to discourage you, to distract you, to deceive you, to, to make sure, they want to make sure that you don't complete the project. Nehemiah was so focused on building that wall that he kept his eyes like, like, an, like an eagle vision and he completed that wall. And that's how we need to be. We need to learn to fly at a higher altitude. The, the only way that we can fly at a higher altitude is by spending time with God. When we, when, when we wait on God, um, the, the, the Bible says, those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They will soar on wings like eagle. We need to learn to wait on God and we need to learn to soar on wings like eagle. When we wait on God, everything else becomes smaller. When we look at God and His, and His uh, magnificent uh, beauty and majestic power, everything else, the, the, the petty things you are worried about become smaller and smaller. It's just like when you uh, go, go higher up in the sky, when you, when you go in an airplane, you see the things that look very big while you are uh, 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 here, the taller buildings and, and bigger mountains. But when you fly in the airplane, it looks smaller and smaller. It, and uh, it becomes a dot. And that's how when you spend time with God, when you go higher and higher and when you focus on God, everything else becomes a, a tiny speck. Even your biggest problem becomes a tiny speck because you're keeping your eyes on God. God is so much bigger. And, and that determines your altitude. When you spend time with God, we fly higher. Remember, as, as leaders, it's very important we spend time with God. We pray. We talk to God about the problems. We talk to God about the, the solutions that we're going to implement as a leader. We talk to God. We consult God in every single step, in every single uh, uh, actions that we are doing as a leader. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. It's very important we, we consult, we acknowledge God in, in everything we do. As a leader, that's very important. We need to learn to fly at a higher altitude. And, and secondly, the eagle knows its authority and power. The eagle uh, doesn't have to prove to the crow uh, uh, it's, it's, it doesn't have to prove it's, 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 it's an eagle. All it has to do is it has to go higher and higher because that's its unique characteristics. And then the, the crew will fall away. <clears throat> Similarly, as leaders, we, we don't have to prove to others that we have uh, authority and power. The eagle knows its uh, authority and power as an eagle. You don't have to prove that you have authority and power. All you have to do is be that leader who has the authority, who has that authority and power. The eagle doesn't have to prove to the crow that it's an eagle. It has to be uh, an eagle and a, a exhibit the characteristics of that uh, of that eagle. As as leaders, we need to understand what authority and power God has given to us. Jesus said, "All authority has been given to me, and go into all the world and make disciples." And we need to understand uh, we have Christ in our hearts. He that is in you is greater than he that is in the world. If Jesus Christ is with us, we have all authority and power. Jesus said, um, um, in this world you have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Jesus Christ has overcome the world. We need to understand our authority and power. That we are a child of God. You are a son of God. You are a daughter of God. You have that authority and power. And when you are dealing in a day-to-day -day, uh, things in your uh, job or in your ministry or in your church, 
we need to remember that you are operating under the authority and power that God has given you and and sometimes we will be challenged our authority will be challenged our uh, people will try to undermine us in those instances it's very easy for us to get frustrated and show our authority and power look at what jesus did on the cross they said, the chief priest said, chief priest said he saved others but he can't save himself he's the king of israel let him come down now from the cross and we will believe in him he trust in god let god rescue him now if he wants him for he said i am the son of god see these chief priests they challenge the authority and power of jesus christ on the cross jesus had all authority and power but he knows very well that these people are just like cross he doesn't want to pick a fight with a crow because he's fighting a a bigger battle for the whole human kind on that cross Jesus knew his authority and power but he doesn't want to show it to the chief priest he he hung on the cross and he bled and died for you and me and then he rose again on the third day to show his authority and power over death that's the greatest enemy of mankind see jesus know uh, how when uh, he knows when to show his authority and power immature people wants to use their authority and power and they wants to show that they are powerful they have authority but mature leaders they know when to show it when to exercise it. they don't they don't even have to show it they are they are so quiet when it comes to authority and power they know when to exercise their authority and power so um as i conclude remember we need to learn to be an eagle and and show the characteristics and and, and learn to be like an eagle and learn to live like an eagle and show the characteristics of an eagle to have that eagle vision to have that to know our, our, our altitude and to know the authority and power god has given to us i hope this is an encouragement for you we are going to continue this series characteristics of a great christian leader look at several other characteristics if this is a blessing for you would you uh, please do me a favor and share this in social media to others and also uh, if you haven't subscribed to our uh, ch- uh, youtube channel can you subscribe so you will be notified whenever we upload new videos thanks for watching and goodbye